Hi everybody! Hey! We're out on our beach walk and no, we haven't had sex yet. But we are just here for sunset. Like I wanted to show you how pretty that is. The clouds over there, you can kind of see. There's a sliver of sunset in between the valley peaks right there. There's people riding their golf carts down on the water. <laughs> Maui's such a cool place. Maui is. <laughs> all right, enough of making everybody seasick from the video moving all over the place. I know, it's all moving all over the place. Here, you can face the sunset. I want to keep watching the sunset. All right. Yeah, we, we get to watch the sunset. You guys get to watch the, uh, the, ocean, the ocean behind us. So we just I received... I also get to watch the ocean behind us. Yeah. We can see ourselves in the camera. It's pretty yes. awesome. So we just received like the awesomest piece of feedback. I mean, like it, it hit us so hard. You had to lay down on the I floor. I had to lay down on the floor and feel feelings. <laughs> I did. It was so cool. It was, it was. Like some, somebody is just being so, so touched by what we do. We won't name names because she's won't... probably watching the video. Right. And... But definitely thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank like you from, so the, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Yeah. We, we really aren't sure about what we're doing here. We, we know that we're being told to do it. Yeah. And well, both of us felt the call really strong in our hearts to start, tar, start, start talking, talking about, about this, this money, power, sex stuff. Because this has been our journey the entire time we've been together yeah. of really growing into greater levels of money, greater levels of power, and freaking amazing sex. And, and all right. of it really does stem back to this whole self acceptance journey, this mm -hmm. journey of self love, this journey to really um, being more okay with yourself so you can be okay with the world and the other people in it, like your spouse, <laughs> so you can learn how to pour love into them and build them up and help them become the most powerful version of themselves. Because when you're working together and building each other up, it's a completely different dynamic than when you're tearing each other apart and, yeah. and fighting and being insecure and, and having uh, the, the struggles and the, the challenges that just seem like they're the only option is to divorce or to break up. Yeah. You know, relationships don't have to be like that and they can end up being more peaceful and harmonious and, and loving and you can still grow and you can still work on your stuff with each other and it doesn't have to be something where um, you feel like you have to break apart from the person. You guys can grow together as a unit and be more powerful together. Yeah. So yeah, that's, and that's what that's we've been of, doing. That's what we've been doing. That's what we've been doing in, in so many ways, big and small. You know, Katharina and I do so many exercises together. I yeah. mean, like today we wrote out our perfect day and, and writing out your perfect day is just your standard self-development exercise. Right, we were doing it because uh, we both are part of the lucky bitch world, you know, with Denise Stuffield Thomas. Yeah. And so that's that's the coach that we had hired about what a year ago to two, do her two years course ago. and her program and it was totally life changing it for was us. it was super life changing for us like now we live in freaking maui like right yeah <laughs> it worked yeah it worked and and absolutely nothing in her course is really about money no it's, it's all not. about forgiveness and self-acceptance and all this stuff yeah. that we're talking about and teaching you about right now because for us that has been the bread and butter of our life to yeah. make what we have amazing and the experience that we have together as a couple and as, as reflected in our videos, you know, like right. if we hadn't done the amount of self work that we've done, holy shit, we could never get up on camera on top in we front couldn't. of all of our friends on Facebook to talk about this stuff. Like, we couldn't, it'd holy be impossible. Crap. No, we would have so many fights and we wouldn't even like each other anymore if we didn't right. know the stuff that we know. Mm -hmm. Because all of our insecurities would have been all dredged up to the surface and everything that we would have felt would have been something that would have been like insurmountable. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that we would have been able to get it through. And you know, they say that you know, most divorces happen within about the first two years because that's about how long it takes for everybody's shit to come to the surface and everybody's right. got and it. And it's how you deal with it. It's how, it's how, you, how deal. you deal with it. And it's not that we don't have conflict and it's not that we've never had conflict and that our, our right. marriage has been like this happy, perfect thing forever. Like it we hasn't. seem super happy and perfect because we know how to get through it. And yeah. that is what we want to share. That's the right. stuff that is so important to us. The stuff that 
we know down to our toes works you know the self-acceptance stuff this this bit about mm -hmm. i don't know just like really really being okay with who you are and trusting right. your intuition and mm -hmm. trusting your instincts. i mean it's so multifaceted yeah. because you know i've spent the past what six years really in this like in the soup of transformation mm -hmm. just learning from people and wanting to have my own personal recovery and you know you can take that energy and direct it towards relationships and have like, explosive growth, mm -hmm. personal growth through a relationship. Which is compounded because as one person grows, so, so I've heard it in personal relationships or in, in, personal, in personal growth that what happens is you climb this, this peak for a little while and then you reach a valley and, and it's very I'm cyclical. Tired. Oh, it's very cyclical. You go up and down, up and down in your personal, in your personal relationship. And uh, when you're with another person, it's like you guys even each other out. Like when she's having a bad day, I am right there with her to help her through it. And when I'm having a bad day, yeah. she's right there with me. You're my teammate. Go team Roy. Go team Roy. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, like seriously, that's, that's how it works. It is. And because of that, that's how we're able to compress the, the, the ebb in our lives so we can just be flowing, flowing, flowing always growing always expanding well the ebb is you know as shanti describes it you know i think it's something beautiful that happens when you yeah. both are in that space of openness mm -hmm. and willingness to receive like we've been in an ebb in our life we for have. the past month while for we've been on month. vacation yeah. and now paul's starting his new job i'm tomorrow starting a new at job the, the heart gallery over yeah. in lahaina in a place where he sells freaking picassos and you know what he was doing like two years ago or whatever a yeah. year ago driving a bus driving a bus <laughs> this time last year paul was freaking driving a city bus in austin texas okay right so and now, now i am working to, like, with the most Maui prestigious and, and, art gallery and, on the island and yeah this is a really sought after job there have been people who've been working in galleries for a really long yeah. time who've been trying to get this job paul freaking walks in like magic sauce <laughs> and he's just like hey did you know the hours on your website are like are not yeah there? i didn't even talk to them he about the job he didn't even talk to him about the job he just he just went in there and like served just, them and right, helped just them. being myself just being himself and let me tell you like one of my huge intentions with my next job was to get a job because of who i am and not because of what i know or well, because of what you've done and because of what i yeah not because of what i've done in the past but because of who I am as a person, because the highest paying jobs are the ones where you have to be the right kind of person, not where you have to have a certain Self -developed. degree. Self-developed. <coughs> right. Yeah, <coughs> the stuff that we're talking about. Yeah. Right. You have to have that mental fortitude. You have to be able to know how to navigate conflict and interpersonal stuff and yeah. operating people. And operating is... people and, and operating yourself in, mm -hmm. in relationship with people and being able to be the most powerful version of you. Right, because you know, we talk all about money, power, sex, but it's not about being powerful over other people. It's about being powerful over yourself. And in yourself, and, and in, in yourself. your own authority, and in your sovereignty over yourself. Mm -hmm. Because that is where you can go out into the world and create magic. Like yeah. I've seen this guy like create so many amazing <laughs> situations for himself because he knows how to like go out there and get the thing that he's wanting. And yep. he prays and he like intends like nobody else I've ever met. <laughs> like you pray for parking spaces and you I do, get them. And, and you, I get them. And that's the thing is like this personal power that we're talking about is not just personal power. It's power that you wield with God, with the universe, that you are able to mm -hmm. tap into. Right. And we want to show you how to tap into that. Yeah. And tapping into it is something that you do through your intention and your prayer and your belief. Right, it, it, it's so important to believe that you can actually do it. That's the first step is to believe that you can actually do it. Yeah. Because otherwise it's, it's, it's impotent, it's meaningless. Right, and if you try to, oh, we have, have a little girl coming Oh, we here. have a little girl coming. We have a little girl coming. Oh, no, she's running the other she's way. She's running away, okay. Yeah. She's really cute. Look at that inner tube. Yeah. She's I, gonna I, go in the water. And it's this cold. I'm in a jacket. Like I know. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Maui is so cool. Like it's got all kinds of different climates. I mean, it's got parts that remind me of Arizona. It's got parts that remind me of Texas. Mm -hmm. Parts that remind me of Costa Rica. Maui's a cool island. Just like you took the entire Earth and like compressed it into one place. One, one place. Island. Yeah. It's neat. It's neat. Kind of. This part reminds me of the Pacific Northwest right now. Yeah, it kind of does yeah. with the pines and the evergreens. Yeah. So anyway, back to the video, when it comes down to like wielding this personal power, it's not about 
trying to be generating it yourself. It's not about trying to step on everybody else's neck. It's about being empowered in your own understanding of who you are. It's about being empowered in the way that you have a relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, everybody else is attracted to that power because they're like, oh, holy shit. Here who comes is a this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this powerful person? Yeah. I want what they got. And, and all I am, I'm just a channel for it. No, just, you just, you have like, you have cleared out resistance I, after resistance after, after resistance, block. Yeah. All of the things that would stop you up and make you kind of feel like stymied right. and like lacking in self-expression. Which is basically um, what everybody else thinks. I just came to realize the truth that nobody thinks about me for more than about 30 seconds out of their day. So it doesn't freaking matter what no, I do. No, it doesn't matter I what I can you just do. do whatever I it want. It is your life. It's my life. And you get to be the one who chooses what you do in it. And you don't right. need to kowtow to the opinions of other people. Mm -hmm. You don't need to limit yourself based on what other people think about you. It yeah. doesn't matter if doesn't. they have completely different viewpoints than you. Like I know there are so many people who are watching this video right now who don't see the world the same way I do. And you know what I say to you? I say, thank you. I'm so happy that you don't see the world the way that I do because holy crap, that would be a really real, weird world if there was just one person's point of view all the time. Right. And, and wielding this power means that you also respect the same people's right to have power in and of themselves. Yeah, you respect other you people's respect authority. Others. You respect their decision to choose what's right for what's them right in for their them. life. Right, and don't try to pretend that you know best. No. I used to try to pretend that I knew best for other people. And, and that, for me. And that made me super not popular with anybody. Yeah, you used to try to do that with me. I, we used I did. to try to have power over each other. We used to. And so by us learning how to respect each other in their own power, in their own right, it's in turn helped us to learn how to respect other people in their power and, and also just we, we are liked by many people. We are. And instantly. People instantly. trust us. People trust because us. Because we respect them and honor them. It's very interesting. I've, I've, I know more about the very, very personal, intimate details of my Facebook friends list than most anybody else. I've, I've talked to people at the grocery store who right in the middle of the line are talking to me about their drug problems or sexual abuse as a child. Why? Because I respect them. I, I recall a time in Costa Rica when um, I was just hanging out in this guy's house and he takes, a, he takes an empty beer can and he pokes a hole in it and he starts freebasing crack cocaine right in front of me. And, and I look at him, I'm like, hey man, so you got a crack thing that you do? And he's like, yeah, I, have, I, I smoke crack. And I said, okay, well, that's cool. That's your choice. So I still respect you. And, and really, like, that had a huge effect on him because he's like, you know, like, I kind of felt that I could just smoke crack in front of you and you wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's true. And it, it's simply because, because I was able to respect him for who he is, I was able to develop a deep friendship with the man and eventually get him to admit that maybe smoking crack isn't the best thing for in his life. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that he could, uh, he could take a different life path if he so chose. But first, I had to accept the fact that he was a crackhead. First, I had to accept the fact that, that and, and love him where he was. And so I did. And I found that this has been really, really successful in my life for connecting with anybody. I mean, after, right, right after hanging out with the crackhead, smoking, you know, I wasn't smoking crack, but he was. Um, like, three hours later, I was hanging out with a billionaire at his resort. It was very, very interesting. And the same thing, like, you know, he also was just doing whatever it is that he was doing, and I was just loving him and respecting him, and he had the same level of respect for me as the other guy did, and I was able to get along with both of them just fine. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a, a very powerful story because it just shows how it doesn't matter where you are, it, it doesn't matter who you are, you can be known and liked and trusted and respected by other people simply by believing that what they're doing is right for them and not mm -hmm. judging them. Yeah. Yeah, that's the powerful piece about respecting authority. Right. In, in the other person. Because no longer, when you feel like they're not, when nobody's victimizing you, when nobody is trying to get one over on you, when mm -hmm. you don't feel like the world is against you, yeah. it's so easy to start seeing that, you know, there is a benevolent force in your life as well as in the lives of other people. Yeah. And there is something that's guiding them, so it's easy to respect it. 
Like, because you start respecting the benevolent force guiding your life. Yeah, you and know? it allows you to see the benevolent force guiding their life. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, really, we just have to figure out one thing. Is the, is the force that is unseen in this universe benevolent or, or malevolent? Right. And I choose to believe it's benevolent because holy shit, look at my life, it's amazing. Yeah, I couldn't do this by myself. I couldn't do this by myself. No. Like, we're not Hell doing no. this from our own power. No. No, this is a gift. This is a gift. This is and a gift we're so grateful for. This is something that we it. are just receiving. Yeah. We are tapping into this gift, this gift that, um, I don't know, knocked me on my butt a couple times. Right, you know, and, it, and when it I has. was in the deepest of my despair and my sorrow. Because when you're in the, I mean, when you're in that sorrow, when you're in that despair, you can't see anything as a gift. Everything is miserable. I, I remember, and I will never forget, this is something that, that made me respect Katharina so much, is uh, we were having ice cream at the local uh, ice cream shop down in Costa Rica, and I was complaining about the Ticos. Mm -hmm. I, the, that's the, the native term for the Costa Ricans. It's not derogatory, it's just what they call themselves. And I was complaining about this home that we were living in for free this beautiful mansion on the side of a mountain that we were living in for free. And I was talking about that it was shoddily constructed. And, uh, and she looks at me and she says, did you know that you're bitter? <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at her and I was like, huh. Right. And I said it with the most love <laughs> She and said compassion. it with love and compassion. And from that point on, I never complained about the free mansion we were living in ever again. In fact, I started seeing all the beautiful parts about it, and because of that, I started absolutely loving my life in Costa Rica way more than I ever did before. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, I don't have to be bitter. It's all about how I see it. It's not yeah. about what it really is. That was really powerful, and I want to tell you right now, love, like that is something that you said to me that nobody else had ever had the courage to say to me because they were all, all people, people pleasers who just wanted to agree with my ass. I'm learning how to not be a people pleaser. Right, like, <laughs> yeah. People pleasing is probably the most disempowering thing you can possibly do. Oh, talk about fucking cock blocking yourself. Right. Like, so ugh. the more that you tell people what your truth is, the more they'll respect you, even if they exit your life. Yeah. A person who really, really loves you and cares about you will stick around even tighter. Because when you disagree with somebody, that is a polarizing message. Mm -hmm. It's and, and polarizing, it's like a magnet. It'll either attract or repel. And if it repels, that's wonderful. That person was never your friend. Mm -hmm. And if it attracts, then you have a friend forever. Yeah. And the only way to find out is to say something polarizing like that. Mm -hmm. and, and for her, like that was the really polarizing thing. We weren't married yet. No, we weren't. We weren't even married. Like <laughs> we she, weren't even together. We weren't, we weren't even a couple. We weren't even a couple at that time. You're right. Like we were still dating, and she's like, "Bitch, please." <laughs> <laughs> You're bitter. <laughs> and I, and you know, I could have just walked out of her life. I could, my ego could have raged. I'm like, well, "Fuck you." <laughs> I'm bitter. I'm making you pay for the but ice cream. But the the kicker. The only reason that he didn't get pissed at me was because I communicated it with the utmost of love and compassion. Yeah. Has anyone ever told you that you're actually a little bit bitter? Mm -hmm. Like, it, 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 how can you take offense to that? You instantly disarm right. them. It's undefended love. Yep. And you communicate from that place of undefended love. You communicate from that place of really not attacking, not tearing down and always speaking building with up. connection and building up in your voice. Right. We, we rebuke each other all the time. All the time. We point out each other's stuff that we need to work on all the time all the time but i love him for it and i am so grateful to him because i know he has my back and that he loves me yeah and that he's not criticizing me and he's not insulting me and he's mm -hmm. not uh hurting my feelings or whatever you know my ego might rage for a second but it doesn't make it something where he has hurt me right you know i'm able to differentiate that when he shares an opinion or he shares an insight he's sharing it from a place of love in his heart and he didn't do it do it without first searching his heart to find the loving the, words the most loving way to say it to say it in fact i've told you that to you before many times i've said i have thought about the most loving way to say this because the first thing i wanted to say was just fuck you <laughs> And I decided to say it in a different way because I feel and like it'd be more loving. And we can joke about that because we do ha we communicate from that place of, of elevated communication. We're conscious communicators because we want to be understood and to build intimacy. And that's the only way to do it is by telling the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually had a conversation. Authenticity. We had a conversation earlier today. I used to be just a prolific liar. Mm -hmm. A prolific. I would lie about anything to anybody. 
yeah. because I was so busy people pleasing them. I was and so you were busy. Insecure and I you were was, trying to like distort their perception of you to be favorable. To be favorable, and and it just hurt me and hurt me and hurt me because of course the the one thing that uh, that that always comes out is a lie. Mm -hmm. Somebody will always what find out you lied. Says, not three these things cannot be long hidden the, the sun, the sun moon, moon and the truth. truth yeah the truth always comes out yeah and and once it comes out you don't need to harbor it anymore mm -hmm. it's like once it comes out you're free mm -hmm. and i realized that the reason i used to lie so much is because i wasn't confident in myself i didn't think that i was good enough just being me no i had to be this fake version of me yeah, the choir boy with a BDSM issue. Right, that was the choir boy with a BDSM issue. Huh. <laughs> right, but the fact is that once I was able to, to start just being myself and to be loved and honored and accepted for being who I am, any desire to lie just disappeared. Because I'm like, hey, this is who I am. And right, like because it or not. you realize that you, who being who you are, is okay. Is okay. And if somebody doesn't like it, that's cool. That's cool. They don't have to be in my world. I've had people unfriend me on Facebook. Thank you for unfriending me. You're not in my world. That's great. I'm not blowing your mind anymore. Awesome. Right. You don't have to like force yourself to be a part of any mold that does not work for you. Right. I don't. And and I refuse to. Like when we moved to Maui, I could have picked up my like any number of $60,000 a year jobs. They're everywhere. They're everywhere and I could have walked right in and grabbed one. But I didn't because I knew I knew that there was a different one for me. I knew that there was something that was right because of the faith journey we've been walking. Because we've been walking this like faith thing. seriously, like God has been. We call our benevolent force God, and if you don't like that, that's okay. That's okay. You know, substitute whatever works. Flying for spaghetti you. monster. Flying if you spaghetti prefer. monster. Yeah. So for us, God has been doing amazing stuff in our life mm -hmm. and has been really, really blessing us with all of the places that we've lived and yeah. just. We ask for something and it shows and up. It shows up. And it's amazing. And that's what happens when you clear the obstacles from the path. You know, Denise Duffield Thomas was talking about this today in her manifesting course. You know, she talks about how when you clear the path of the obstacles that are in the way, then you free up the flow of abundance. You free up the flow of love and of prosperity into your life. And so, what have Paul and I been doing for the past couple years? Clearing, clearing the blocks. blocks. We've been clearing up our flow so that more can flow in and it doesn't have more right. shit to catch on, you know, and, so. And it flows through. It doesn't flow to. Yeah. It flows through. We don't want to keep it forever. No, we, we want to use we it. We want to use world. it. We want to be channels of God's love and right. God's money and, and all of it in this world. And it's amazing the life experiences we've had since we've chosen we this path. We, yeah. Okay, so, so here's something fun that happened. So um, right before we left Oahu, I bought myself the very first pair of new clothing that I had ever bought from a store at full price in the history of my life at 33 years old. Mm -hmm. Three weeks later, I had lost enough weight that they didn't fit anymore. <laughs> th thanks to the clean living over here. And so I said, oh, I could have been all bitter about it and been like, oh, I want to go return that. Mm -hmm. here, I, here I am. I, I, I bought this thing and now I can't use it. But instead I said, oh, I'm going to donate that and somebody else is going to get a pair of pants that was worn once and probably still has a tag on it somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, and really, like, I gave it away with that same amount of joy. And what happens, like, I go to buy even nicer pants that fit even better. And these are like $100 a pair, a pair of pants. And we get like $112 off of them. <laughs> Yeah, that was get, super cool. I get two even nicer pairs of pants. I'm telling you, when you give, you receive. It's so, so basic. And yeah. so, so we don't... Well, when we give love to each other as well, we are receiving right. more than we we're giving. Always, always receiving more than we give. Yeah. It's uh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And But it takes that, that leap of faith to do it because honestly, like I'm about to go get a new job and that pair of pants, like even though it doesn't fit really well, is suitable for working there. But... I knew that there was something better for me, and so I just gave it away, and then here comes even nicer stuff. And it's not about the stuff. It's about the giving and the receiving, and it's fun. Like, I give... The flow. Yeah, you didn't never give to receive. Give to bless others. Mm -hmm. Give to bless. Don't give, to, don't give because you think you're going to get something. Give because you get to bless other people. When we make these videos, we don't give a crap if people do business with us. I don't care if anybody watches it. I don't care if anybody watches it. <laughs> It's true. I'm making this for God. Right. I'm making this for myself. I'm making this because it's fun to do with my yeah. husband. Yeah. Like, we're really selfish because every time we make these things, we go deeper in our own relationship. 
feel like we need to catch some more light though because um, the sun's going down, as you can tell. It is. This is the uh, the perils of outdoor stuff. I don't know, maybe we should just cut it. It's been like 24 yeah, minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we can wrap it up. Yeah, we'll just wrap it up because of the sun and it's, yeah. it's like, anyway. Anyway. We're just really, really grateful. We, we don't care what the result is from this. We, we just care that we were told to do it, so we're doing it. This is our work. This is our mission. And it's exciting. And if you want to be more of a part of our mission, come on by. We've got various stuff. Yeah, our Money Power Sex Group is up and we Yay. have our members rolling in. It's exciting. It is. And I am looking forward to doing our Q&A calls in that group. Uh, and yeah. like really answering people's question more in depth. Like, it's going to be so fun. We want to make this group about you and what's going on in your world. Yep. And we know that mentoring is not available for everyone, so we wanted to have a place for people to come and be coached for 30 bucks a month. And so here it you know, is. just come work on your money, power, sex stuff, because yeah. honestly, it's life-changing. It like, is. It's really life-changing, and, and it's an important thing to do if you yeah. want to experience any satisfaction in living your 3D life, you know, this life that you're living here on Earth. Right. Yeah. And if $30 a month is a stretch for you, then you are absolutely the person who we want to join. Because it has to be a little bit of a stretch for you. It has to be a little bit of a stretch. Now, if you're if you're choosing between this or food, Please. definitely yeah. use our free stuff. Yeah, you watch our free videos. Watch our free That's videos cool. until you're not bouncing that thirty dollar check. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I, we both of us have found that the, all of the groups that we have joined, they've all been a little bit of a stretch for us, and they have and grown been, us tremendously. It's tremendously grown our lives to be a part of yeah. group masterminds, group group discussions, group coaching that has elevated our thinking and our ability to um, receive. Right. You know, we're considering one right now that's like $3,400. $3, yeah. And you know what? That's a little bit of a stretch for us. And it sounds, you know. And like, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing because I've seen it happen before. Right. And it's going to happen again. Yeah. So we're really, really excited about that. Uh, our YouTube channel is up. It's called the Money Power Sex Channel. And I actually, thanks to uh, my our good friend uh, Crystal Trammell, she uh, she recommended that I take a I had an old uh, an old course an old video course that I had done uh, I call it getting your shit together <laughs> just and it's all about all the stuff that I did that took me from being totally impoverished to living in Costa Rica on my own terms and so I made up a, a 30 day course for it it's like 30 videos there's just a playlist on YouTube it's free go get it you don't have to pay for it. Just, yeah. uh, just find it, just navigate over to the Money Power Sex channel, subscribe to that, and then you click on the playlist. I think I've got like 16 of the videos uploaded right now. If there's one thing that I learned from this particular course is that people started like having their brains completely fried after about day seven. So, take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, our, our light's going away. All right, we're gonna go, bye-bye now. Yeah, see you guys later. We're gonna bye. go enjoy our even more sunset walk. Take care.